Well, today is officially barn curtain day. Ordered these last year from Farm Tech. <clears throat> I just looked at the sticker. It looked like they shipped out mid-October last year. But with everything we had going on with this barn, I didn't have this kick wall done yet. Uh, this is going to be where we put some cattle. And uh, it just wasn't a high enough priority. Main priority was getting all the stone around the barn done, which we just got done a few weeks ago. Just uh, trying to do what we can, cooperating with the weather. And it's just been very wet around here. Also getting horse stalls done and uh, got a tack room going in over there soon. So don't mind the mess. Uh, we finished this barn, I want to say the end of October last year. For the most part, um, the barn was up. And then it was just a lot of stonework, uh, a lot of stall building, all that kind of stuff. So and these are curtains from Farm Tech. Uh, this is... These are 104 inches. This is a 10 ounce clear P-Max. Uh, if you look up in their books. Yeah, right there. Date 10, 15 at 21. So I changed the plans since we built this barn. Both sides, we're going to have a wooden uh, wall. That wall is five feet up from the concrete. And then the curtain will go in the rest of the way. If you see over there on top of the stock trailer, I was going to do the same thing over there. And then uh, I changed my mind. We're probably not going to have livestock on that side. You know, you never build a barn big enough. So uh, right now, we have enough stalls to handle what we need. And uh, I'd rather have the stock trailer inside. Uh, a couple hundred bales of hay sitting in there. So this just gives me extra. Um, so I should be good for the next couple of years. I have a, I ordered curtains for both sides of the barn. But like I said, we're only going to do this side. So the other side of the barn is going to be skinned to match. I will put a man door there probably over here but on the other side and it's getting skinned to match this so the black on the bottom the clear plastic panels on top and uh, the gunmetal gray which is what my wife really likes so that is it um, waiting for a good friend to come over and help me do this today usually you would frame this in and run your mesh first um, and I'll explain more of that later but right now I'm worried about just getting the curtain up um, I can do the mesh and stuff uh, with my dad and them kind of later. So if I get the curtain up, I will be happy today. Uh, it just takes a couple sets of hands. All right, so we have a chalk line up there where we're going to put the top of the fastener strips, which are these eight foot pieces. Uh, they're about two inch by half inch. Uh, I think it's HDPE, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I just called them. They didn't send me some of the screws, but not a big deal. We got a bunch of extra stuff laying around here from the barn build. So they said to put screws about every foot, no farther than every foot. You can go closer if you want. So we got this tarp laid out and squared up on the end. Uh, they just kind of cut it to uh, get it shipped. So we got it squared up nice. It's an ex a little extra long. We're going to leave it that way. Always come back and trim it later. So Shannon's going to go tack it up there with some staples. Uh, make it a little easier. Some people try and hold it up at the same time they put the fastener strips on. I don't think that's the best way to do it. So we're going to staple it up there, go back through, screw it up. So all this swaged pipe here, um, probably have to cut it down with a grinder at the end to get it to fit what we want. Uh, all we're using here is some Tex self-drilling roofing screws. Just take off the washer so they sit a little flusher in there. See if I can do this one-handed. And that's it. We'll come back, wrap that in duct tape so it doesn't cut the uh, tarp material there so only this is only 40 foot tarp if you guys are doing some of these long ones uh, it might take a while
dirty gravy. Had to cut the handle down a little bit. It doesn't take much effort at all, though. No, I'm actually impressed. I thought it'd be a lot more. Well, Amber can do that easily. Well, that is going to wrap up the video on the Farm Tech barn curtains. Um, I didn't do a lot of videoing or anything of the wood going up. Here's the issue. Um, I look at things and I think, okay, I can get that done in a day or two. I had to put up 30 2 by 6 by 16 tongue and groove treated boards. No big deal. The problem is it's been 22 months since my accident. And when I look at projects, I don't take into consideration that I hate the word disabled. I'm disabled now. It takes me a lot longer to get things done. I can still do it. It just... A two, what I thought was going to take two days ended up taking about two weeks. Thankfully, my mom, my dad, uh, my parents are divorced. They still come out and help together. My stepdad was about here helping get this wall up. So uh, it takes a village. They say it, raise, it takes a village to raise a child. Well, it takes a village to get a farm up and running from scratch. So big thank you to my family who's been out here doing this. And another thing, um, kind of my family without blood. Shannon, a huge thank you to him. Um, he helps with a lot of these projects around here. Shannon is a great family friend at this point. I think we are family. He built this barn, and he is, an, he is a true craftsman. Um, I have some neighbors that have some beautiful barns. I've been down there, and you know, oh, if they're within a few inches of square, like, they're good. No, not with Shannon. This barn is 30 by 80. If you run the diagonals, it's not even a sixteenth of an inch off. Uh, my perma columns. 14 feet in the air, they're not even a sixteenth of an inch off. Um, there might be one, I think that's a sixteenth, but an eighth of an inch is unacceptable to Shannon. And uh, the dude is just a pure craftsman. I love watching him build things. So I told Shannon I had to put these barn curtains up. He volunteered to come out and help. And um, he's never done barn curtains before. I'd never done them. The directions were okay. I wouldn't say they were great. I couldn't find many videos on YouTube. So that kind of lays it out step by step. So, huge thank, thank you to Shannon, my family, for coming out and doing this. And I told you guys earlier in the video I would look. This whole system, I know I keep saying it, came from Farm Tech. Uh, I'm not sponsored. I didn't get a deal. They don't know who I am. But uh, I believe it's a very nice kit. This material is what they call their clear. It's their 10-ounce clear P-Max. Um, I thought it would be a little more clear than what it is, um, but I think it'll work just fine. We didn't want a pure white curtain. That was my wife's big bugaboo on this barn. When she saw the black and gray, she loved it. So we have black and gray walls, um, except for the Lexon clear panels up here, I'll show you, um, which uh, we'll probably go back in and paint the bare wood someday black so you don't see it. Um, black overhead doors, you name it. There's nothing on this barn that's white. So this is on the north side of the barn. The south side of that open end, I was going to do the same thing. I talked to Shannon. He's just going to come back and skin that side. Um, and then it's still not a waste. It saved me $900 in lumber. By the time you add in the curtain, it's cheaper to skin that side and, and add a walkthrough door. So that's what we're going to do. Give us, little, give us a little better protection from the south on those stormy days. The end of the barn will always stay open. We don't get a lot of stuff coming straight in from the east a few times in the spring. And then I still have this curtain to go up and down. I was a little rushed on this project. Dad has a barn. I want to say it's a, I don't know how big it is. It's a weird size. Um, 40 by 80, 73, 42 by 73, something like that. It's a fantastic barn. It's been the family a long time, but it is coming down soon. Um, it just doesn't fit for what he needs it to do anymore. It won't fit our bigger gooseneck trailers. So he decided to tear that down and he sent in the deposit to have a 50 by 72 by 6, excuse me, 16 built. Afternoon pills kind of tear me up, so I apologize. So that is coming soon. Um, we'll be tearing that barn down. I'm going to reuse a lot of his haymow boards. Shannon said, you know what? Cows don't need that much headspace. We can still put about a five foot hay mow over on this side. The barn's 13 feet. As long as I have eight feet clearance underneath to get in with my tractor to clean out that pen. Uh, we do have two steers at dad's place. And so I was kind of rushing to get this project done because they need some place to go ASAP. So later in the week, Shannon is coming back over. I was at his place today. I bought some bar stock. He turned um, 
a four inch piece of four inch wide quarter inch seven feet long bar stock into some absolutely amazing brackets we're going to put up some four by sixes later this week um, i'm going to reuse some old corral panels i bought i made kiddos round pens smaller and we'll use those three panels in there so that'll be coming the rest of the week i don't want to get long-winded here um, but thanks for watching thanks for everybody for all your ongoing support i'm constantly getting emails hey how you doing how's things going I'm wrapping up my first semester of college this week. Uh, it's been absolutely nuts and I can't believe I'm pulling straight A's with um, 30 hours of homework a week, trying to do stuff around here, trying to get kiddos horses ready for fair. And uh, it's a lot of stress at times. And then fun fact, it's been 22 months since my accident. Last night I was in the shower, my arm's kind of been bugging me. I was just rubbing my hand over my arm and realized that I still have stitches coming out of my arm 22 months later. So. As always, everybody, thank you for your support. Thanks for watching this channel. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, pheasantlanefarm at gmail.com. Hit us up on Facebook, Pheasant Lane Farm, and we should see you soon on another video. Take care, everybody. God bless.